हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर देवेश वांदेल प्रोफेसर इन सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई विल टीच अबाउट बबल सॉट यू नो बबल सॉट इज द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सॉर्टिंग एल्गोरिथम ऑफ data structure so before starting sorting you should know concept of your data structure so you know data structure where you will store the data where you will store the items where you will store the elements and also you should know objective of your data structures and uh, what are the learning outcomes of your data structures okay i am ex- i am sharing my screen के ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज दैट टू इम्पार्ट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड द एल्गोरिथम एंड अदर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड कंसेप्ट द सर्चिंग एंड योर सॉर्टिंग टेक्निक that is the concept of your data structure and algorithm course and also the objective of this course is that concept of your stack concept of your queue concept of your linked list and concept of your graph and uh, learning if we will talk about the outcomes of this uh, paper paper is that uh, like your paper is that your data structure and algorithm after study this paper a student uh, will able to write the algorithm and also a student is will uh, know of your algorithm and your algorithm correctness and uh, ability to summarize the techniques of your searching and sorting algorithms and also a student uh, will able to describe the concept of your stack queue and your link list and your graph etc etc you know stack stack is uh, based on your last and first out in your stack you will store the items first of all you have to store the first item after that you have inserted second item third item and when you want to remove the item uh, stack so first of all your item will remove from the stack which you have to insert it in your last position that's why i had told your stack is depend on your last in first out and if we will talk about the queue so your queue is based on your first in first out and also fifo f that is your first in first out and the example of your stack is that your cd box 
you know in your cd box when you want to insert the uh, cd in your cd box so first of all you have to insert it first cd after that you have to insert it uh, second cd after that you have to insert it third cd after that you insert fourth cd and when you want to remove the suppose your third cd from your cd box so before remove the third cd from your cd box you will remove the fourth cd in your stack and uh, when we will talk about the queue your queue is being in your first in first out for example when you are taking the ticket from your ticket window if you are the first person in your queue so obviously you will take the ticket first and if you are second person in your uh, queue so obviously you will take the uh, ticket in your second position that is the example of your queue and when we will talk about the your link list the so link list you know where your nodes are uh, connected to each other when your first node is connected to the another node that is your link list okay you can insert the item you can insert the element you can delete the items from your link list and uh, you can insert the item from any position like if you want to insert the item from the static position obviously you can insert if you want to insert uh, the middle position you can uh, insert and if you want to insert in your last position obviously you can insert so that is the concept of your link list and if we are talking about your graph so your uh, graph where your vertices are connected through the uh, each other through the links okay and here i am discussing about the sorting algorithm that is your bubble sort you know there are so many algorithms of your sorting before starting the sorting algorithms you should know what is sorting you know sorting sorting is the storing the data in your sequentially fashion where you you will store the data in your sequentially fashion that is your sorting there are so many algorithms of your sorting you know like your insertion sort uh selection sort bubble sort radix sort merge sort etc etc in my previous lecture i have also discussed about your insertion sort and uh, about your selection sort and uh, in this lecture i am i will discuss about your bubble sort the bubble sort is the one of the most sorting algorithm and in this lecture i will cover few topics like your what is your bubble sort in your data structures what is the example of your bubble sort what is the algorithm of your bubble sort how to implement the bubble sort what are the advantage of your bubble sort and what are the disadvantage of your bubble sort okay and i will discuss all the topics of your bubble sort one by one what is bubble sort you know bubble sort is the simple sorting algorithm and uh, this sorting algorithm is based on your comparison based algorithm you can say that this algorithm is based on your comparison comparison means suppose you are having a array and your uh, items uh, are not in your sorted form in your array and uh, you want to sort the all items of your array 
and you want to use the bubble sort algorithm so as per i had told this algorithm is based on your comparison based when you will compare when you will compare the first item from the second item when you will compare the second item to third item okay and in the comparison if your first item is a uh, less than from your second item that time no any operation is required and if your first item is greater than from your second item when you are comparing between the two items so that time your swapping is required swapping you know interchange the value of two variables if you are if you are taking if you are having the two variables your a variable and your b variable and if your a variable having the value 20 and your b variable having the value is 10 so when you will apply the swapping between these two variables so your variable a will take the value of your variable b and your variable v will take the value of variable a that is your swapping swapping is the most important concept in your sorting algorithm if you are working on your sorting algorithm so without swapping swapping you can't do anything in your sorting algorithm swapping is the one of the most uh, concept and this concept is required in all sorting algorithms like your bubble sort insertion merge sort radix sort and any other sorting algorithm so you know as per i had told this sorting algorithm is your comparison based algorithm in which each pair of adjacent elements is compared where your adjacent elements is compared and the elements are swapped as per i had told if they are in not in order if your adjacent element are not in your order so that time your swapping is required and if your adjacent element are in your sorting fashion so that time your swapping is not required that's why i had told swapping is the one of the most important concept in any sorting algorithm okay and uh, this sorting algorithm is not suitable for layer data set as is the average and worst case complexity r of n square where n is the number of your item and after discuss about the concept of your bubble sort i am taking the example of your bubble sort and in this example i have taken the unsorted array you know array array is the collection of similar type of elements suppose you are storing the and net students marks so you know your marks uh, having the same type okay so here i am taking the unsorted array of example for example suppose i have taken the unsorted array that is your 14 33 27 35 and 10 this is your list that is not in your sorting fashion 
because your 14 is less than from your 33 33 is less than from your uh, uh, 27 and your 27 is greater than from your 35 and your 35 is less than sorry greater than from your 10 okay so i have taken this list and it, the, your uh, this list is not in your sorting fashion okay and when i will apply the bubble sort uh, so first of all comparing item to check your uh, one item is greater than or not from the another item okay so in this case i will compare from 33 from 27 you know 33 is greater than from your 27 so means these two items are not in your sorting fashion 14 is your first item and uh, your 30 when you have to compare between the 40 14 and 33 so your both items are are in a uh, sequential fashion you know your 14 is less than from your 33 so that time your swapping is no required there is no need of your swapping because your 14 is less than from your 33. Okay. And uh, after that, when you have to compare the 33 from 27, so you know 33 is greater than from your 27 means your 33 and 27 are not in your sorting fashion because your 33 greater than from your 27 so that time your swapping is required i had told your swapping is required when when your adjacent element is greater than from the first element that time your swapping is required so when you have to compare the third uh, compared to 33 and 27 so your 27 is the adjacent of your 33 and uh, 27 is uh, less than from your 33 so that time your swapping is required and when you will apply the concept of your swapping your 27 your 27 will take the place of your 33 and uh, your 33 will take the place of your 27 okay and uh, you will apply the and here you will apply the swapping concept and uh, here i am explaining the concept of your swapping you know you can swap the two variables value with two technique first technique is that you can take the third variable and you can't take the third variable if you are taking the third variable for swapping the two variables value Suppose your third variable is your uh, temp, that is your temporary variable, that is your third variable. And you are also having the two variables like your A and B. Suppose the uh, value of A variable is your 33 and the variables of B value is your 27. So you will apply the concept and you will write the three lines first line is your temp assignment operator a means your 33 value will assign in your temporary variable okay and in your uh, second line where you will write the a assignment operator b and you know the value of b is your 27 and the value of a variable is your 33 so 
after execution this second line your v variables value will assign into the uh, a variable and in your third line your b variable value will assign into your temporary variable that is your temp okay so this is the concept and this concept is required when you are applying the swapping between the two elements okay so when you have to compare from 33 from 27 these are not in your sorting fashion that time swapping is required and uh, after swapping your array will be 14 27 33 35 and your 10 okay you can see in this giving array 14 and uh, 27 are already in your right place and when you have to compare between the 33 and uh, 35 you know your 33 is less than from your 35 means that time your swapping is no required because your 33 is less than from your 35 your swapping is required only in which case where your first element is greater than from the second element that time your swapping is required and if your first element is not greater than from the second element that time your swapping is no required okay so after compare the 33 from 33 your new array will 14 27 33 35 your 10 you know 14 27 33 35 are in your sorting fashion because 14 is less than 27 27 is less than from your 33 33 less than from your 35 and when you will compare between 35 to 10 when you will compare 35 from 10 so you know your 35 is greater than from your 10 that time your swapping is required and your after swapping your 10 will take the place of your 35 and your 35 will take the place of your 10 okay so your new array will be 14 Twenty-seven, thirty-three, ten, and your thirty-five. Okay, mean that time your. Uh, New array will be fourteen, twenty-seven, thirty-three, ten, and your thirty-five. And uh, we are now showing that how an array should uh, look like after each iteration. After the second iteration, it should look like this: your fourteen, twenty-seven, ten, thirty-three, and your thirty-five. okay and you have to notice that after each iteration at least one value moves at the end that is your and your new array will be 14 10 27 33 and 35 and uh, when there is swap uh, swapping is no required ball sort your have to be finished and uh, after completion of your each iteration your new array will be 10 14 27 and your 35 okay and uh, you can see in this uh, given array 
your each element have to be sorted and in this given array your 10 is less than from your 14 14 is less than from your 27 27 is less than from your 33 and 33 is less than from your 35 okay so this is your bubble sort example always you should keep the one concept in your mind swapping i had told many times swapping is the must compulsory when you are applying the sorting like your insertion merge sort tradex sort bubble sort etc and etc without swapping concept you can't do anything in your sorting algorithms because swapping is uh, required in all algorithms okay and now i am taking the next topic is that uh, next concept uh, of this topic is that algorithm algorithm of your bubble sort you know algorithm is just only the writing the writing the instructions step by step if you will write the instruction step by step to me that is your algorithm there is no any foundation in your algorithm that first of all you will write this step after that you will write this step after that you will write this step there is no any foundation only you will follow the one concept when you are writing the algorithm that you will write the all instructions step by step that is your algorithm okay and here i am talking about the algorithm of your bubble sort first of all you will make a function as per the name of your bubble sort means you will start from the function that is your bubble sort you can make the function of any uh, name there is no any foundation for the bubble sort algorithm you will make the function only uh, function name is the bubble sort you can make the any function name and here i am making the function bubble sort for all element of your list i had told if you are adjacent el uh, element is less than uh, is uh, greater than from your uh, sorry is less than from your element obviously your swapping is required here if your i is greater than from your i plus 1 means if your previous element is greater than from your next element that time i had told your swapping is required so in your when you will write the in uh, algorithm you will write if your previous element is greater than from your next element so your swapping is required and your and uh, when you will apply the concept of your swapping okay so you will make the function for your swap and uh, i had uh, uh, told concept of your swapping that's why i am not explaining again because i had told many times about the swapping and after the swapping your condition have finished means you will apply the end if and the loop 
and you will return the list and your bubble sort have to be finished. In this algorithm, you can see only swapping is required and only you will follow this concept if your previously element is greater than from your second element that time your swapping is required that time you will swap means your previous element will swap from your next element okay that is your bubble sort algorithm okay and you know when you will make a program of any sorting algorithm here of any program the right way is that before implement uh, be, sorry before writing the program always you should write the algorithm because when you have to wrote the algorithm so through the algo algorithm student uh, concept uh, student concept are clear about to your program and if you don't uh, write the algorithm before write the program obviously your student will face the problem that's why as per my suggestion a student uh, will always write the algorithm before implementation the algorithm and one thing your algorithm you can apply in any language like your c c++ etc etc there is no any foundation ki you will apply only this algorithm in this language so here I had taken a procedure of your bubble sort, and for the bubble sort, obviously I will take the array. I will take the array of your items, and uh, means obviously I will take a list, and your loop will start from your zeroth position to loop minus one. okay and after that you will follow the swap if swapping is required and if your swapping is no required as per i had told your loop start from 0 to loop minus 1 means you will compare the adjacent element if in the if you uh, in the compare when you have to compare the two items obviously if your previously item is greater than from your next item so you will swap them and if your previously item is uh, less than from your next item that time your swapping is no required as per i had told okay and after that you will apply the and if means if your condition will start so obviously your condition will finish and if no number was swapped this means your array is sorted obviously if your swapping is no required means your array is to be sorted your list is to be sorted and after that you will apply the break the loop you know break break is the keyword okay and you know what is the keyword keyword have the special meaning okay and uh, if not swapped then break and end if means you will finish the condition you will finish the loop you will finish the procedure and uh, return your list
and now i am talking the about uh, advantage of your bubble sort every lang every language has the some advantage and every language has some disadvantage here advantage of your bubble sorts are as per i had told in a starting of your lecture it is a simple algorithm that can be implemented on a computer and efficiently way to check if list is already in your order and uh, do not use to much memory means this uh, this is your simple algorithm that is the uh, advantage of your uh, uh, bubble sort and uh, you can implement this language on your computer and uh, in your efficiently way you can check your list is uh, is in order or not and uh, does not uh, use to much memory and in your disadvantage of this algorithm is that it is an efficient way to sort a list and due to being efficient the bubble sort algorithm is a uh, pretty slow for a very large list of items means if you are taking the large uh, number size of array obviously your uh, this uh, algorithm is slow compared than the other algorithms if you are taking the large size of array if you are taking the large list okay so these are the disadvantage of your bubble sort and after study this lecture you can cover the many questions which are related to this uh, uh, algorithm like your you know sorting have two types first is your internal sorting and second is your external sorting i had also explained the internal sorting and your external sorting in my previous lectures that's why i am not explaining again about your external external sorting and your uh, internal sorting your question is that what is an external sorting algorithm of and there are so so few many options of this question algorithm that use tape or disk during the sort algorithm that use main memory during the sort algorithm that involves the swapping algorithm that are con uh, considered in place obviously external sorting algorithm use the external memory like tape or your disk and other questions regarding your internal sorting algorithm and obviously your internal sorting algorithm use the internal main memory and if you are talking about the external sorting so your external uh, sorting is required the external mem memory like your disk and if we will talk about the worst case of uh, worst case complex to your bubble sort and your options uh, are like uh, n log n log n n and your n square you know bubble sort works uh, bubble sort uh, work by starting from the first element and the swapping the element if required in each iteration okay and what is the average case uh, complex to your bubble sort you know as per i had told bubble sort works by, uh, work by starting from the first element and swapping the element if required to each iteration and uh, which of the following is not advantage of your optimized bubble sort over other sorting technique in case of sorting elements maybe it is faster consumes less memory detects whether the input is already sorted consume the less time optimized bubble sort is a one of the simplest sorting technique and perhaps the only advantage it has over other technique 
is that it can detect whether the input is already sorted it is faster than other in the case of sorted array and uh, consumes to memory to describe the whether the input array sorted or you are not and other questions suppose your array having the four items and your items are in, in not in your sorting 1 2 4 3 uh, so you know these all items are not in your sorted fashion and when you will apply the bubble sort elements so how many iterations are required you know your uh, unsorted elements in your array is that your 1 2 Four and three. Okay. Your options. Maybe four iterations are required. Maybe your two iterations are required. Maybe your one iterations are required. Maybe no any iteration is required. So you know, even through the first two elements are already sorted. Bubble sort needs only four iteration to sort the given array. okay because you are starting the two element these are your one and two are already in your your sorting fashion so means if your first two elements are in your sorting fashion so that time your swapping is no required and uh, bubble sort needs so only four iteration to sort the given array and other what is the best case efficiency in bubble sort in the in the improvised version obviously some iterations can be skipped if your list is sorted you know if your list is sorted so that time your swapping is no required so means if your some elements are in your sorting fashion that time you can skip the some iteration and you know if you are given array is your 1 2 4 3 the bubble sort is used to sort the array elements how many iterations are required i think uh, i had already told only two iterations is required only two element in the given array are not in sort, uh, sorted 1 2 4 3 is your given array and uh, only two elements are not in your uh, sorting fashion that's why only two iteration is required and uh, after studying this lecture a student can able to what are the advantage of your bubble sort algorithm and what are the disadvantage of your bubble sort algorithm if a student has studied this lecture after study this lecture student can give the answer of your both questions these are your advantage of your bubble sort and your disadvantage of your bubble sort student will able to okay so in this lecture i have discussed about the bubble sort algorithm like your what is bubble sort what is the algorithm of your bubble sort what are the advantage of a bubble sort how to implement the bubble sort in any language so i hope have you uh, under, understood about uh, the uh, bubble sort and uh, in my coming lectures i will discuss about uh, the other algorithms of your sorting like your merge sort like your radix sort like your quick sort i am i am very much confident uh, to about this lecture if a student uh, has to be studied about this lecture the student uh, will not keep the any query regarding the bubble sort algorithm thank you